for watching this is my RC powers version 3 MiG-29 I call it the MiG-29 KNEX for knife edge experimental a couple other experimental things on this airplane I'll go over with you today I'm going to be testing the vertical stabilizer that I've modified increases the surface area by taking out the front notch and then made the rudders truly vertical as you can see I had to cut out a notch here where I forgot about the elevon deflection at maximum um, throw of the rudders and the elevons. I'm also going to test 6 millimeter and 3.5 millimeter foam KF4s and then another test today is I'm going to go to inboard aileron and I thought about going to this version 3 aileron which would come way up but after doing a lot of reading on aerodynamics uh, this would create a lot of drag at this point here and I felt that I'm not going to go with that I'm going to stick with just a number two on the cord so um, we're going to get this thing up uh, again this is very first flight today and we'll go through a few, a few different flight tests first is going to be knife edge attempt here we go I got a little bit of up trim maiden flight A little bit up trim, look at that, perfect. Nice. Left turn and high alpha, big rudders really make it nice. Whoa! Man, set her down. Woo! <laughs> ah, she'll survive, no problems there, no damage. All right, time to change. All right, hopefully it'll work better this time. Make sure I don't push any buttons. Sliding in my uh, iPhone onto my belt clip onto my hat, the ultimate dork camera. There's a knife edge. It really likes to roll out. But mission accomplished. Got the knife edge in. Rudders are real nice on the high alpha. Very stable. Tower flyby. A little bit windy now. You can see the wind kicking up. So I like the rudders in high alpha and I like the knife edge. They're very sensitive rudders though, I'll tell you. Too much aileron. I'll have to dial that down. That's on the <sighs> rudder turn into the wind here. Nice flat rudder turn. I like that. How about a cobra? Nice. Let's try a little high speed knife edge. You know, it's actually more stable at high speed. Look at that. Yeah, it's high speed it does a lot better. Yeah, that's too much aileron. Trial, what I've done is I've knocked off the top corner of the rudder to give a more scale appearance. I think it looks a lot better already. And then the second thing I did was I went to inboard ailerons. I think these planes, uh, for the way I like to fly, have too much aileron. So I simply cut the aileron and then fixed the distal end with uh, toothpicks. Hopefully my toothpicks will hold. So now I'm going to see how the ailerons feel on this plane. I'm going to turn, I've got a switch on my radio. I'll turn the ailerons on and off so I can get an idea of how much they contribute to the roll rate. So that's a pretty good roll rate. I like turn that. Aileron, ailerons are off. Here's a roll with elevons only, nice and slow. All right. Now I'm going to add my ailerons back. A little more speed, I like that. That looks pretty realistic. And this is high alpha with ailerons on. Now I'm going to turn ailerons off. And like airflow, I like to do high alpha without ailerons. Now I'm going to crank in a little bit of spoiler on. See how that changes everything. 
All right, spoiler on, you're on. I actually prefer it without spoiler on. That I need to turn my spoiler on down. That's just too much. That's just too much angle of attack. There's spoiler on on. That's a little better. Spoiler on are off. My ailerons are still off. Let's bring a tower flyby here. The wind's catching it right there, as you can see. Nose gets in the wind and pushes it right back around. Get out of that death spiral. All right, ailerons are back on. I'm gonna do a little high alpha with ailerons on. And I, get, I feel like I get a little more wing rock, but I shouldn't because the ailerons are inboard. But see that right there? That's with aileron input. You get that little bit of rock. So I really think airflows, ailerons off, and high alpha is the way to go. There's ailerons off. I really have a lot of control, and I don't even think you need much, I don't need any spoiler on at all. So, lesson learned there. I like the inboard sp spoiler on, I mean the inboard ailerons. You just don't need that much aileron authority unless you like to just roll like a rifled bullet, which I don't like to do. I've crashed doing that before. I like the more scale appearance. And uh, I like this size aileron right here. Um, maybe you could go a little smaller and follow the cord length. But uh, I definitely like this setup. I found it to be a little more stable and high alpha, especially. Um, not even using spoiler ons, didn't like ailerons in high alpha. But when I'm flying the plane regularly, I like the addition of the ailerons to the roll and the turns instead of just elevons only. Do one more rudder turn here. Just a little bit, when I hit the throttle, it just went straight up. So I think it's got a lot more lift on the wing. A lot of wind. High Alpha did not feel any different at all. Aileron's off. Final uh, test flight of the day. I'll do a few pleasure flights afterwards, but this is with the Dollar Store Foam KF4 airfoil. And I put the tape across the back to make it a symmetric. To make the wing like a true airfoil rather than the KF4 step off which generates lift by creating vacuum and drag and when I had the six millimeter KF4 airfoils I actually thought the plane flew a little bit better at high speed and got higher speeds I'll have to go back and look at the data logger but initially looking at them I got higher speed so I'm expecting on this plane with the smaller airfoils to have the same stability just like E3 Scott uh, he uses this airfoil um, he's got the squared off trailing edges, but um, I think with the lower frontal surface area across the wing tip, the, the wing leading edge, I should get higher speeds. And then I also, versus the six millimeter Depron, and then I should get higher speeds with the symmetric trailing edge of the KF airfoil, creating less drag through the vacuum effect. So black magic of KF airfoil, here we go. Already I noticed that at half throttle, it definitely is flying faster. Less lift than the KF4 airfoil. Flight characteristics, not quite as floaty because of less lift. Let's see how it does with the knife edge in this airfoil. It shouldn't make any difference. A little bit of wind up high. Doing a high, because the wind I'm doing a high knife edge. Nice knife edge. Does the hands it real nicely. Actually, it's easier to knife edge with this KF4 airfoil than it is with the um, six millimeter airfoil. I like that a lot. 
Yeah, I think this is the package right here, the Symmetric Dollar Store KF4 airfoil. Nice flight. Now a little high alpha here, but I'm going to land it down and switch over to my HK data logger to see what kind of speeds I can get. Coming into the wind, high alpha, you see the wind blowing it around there. So very stable at high alpha. There's a little bit of wing rock. Trying to play with the wind here, trying to keep it in the wind. The wind wants to flip it around. Come on, baby. There we go. Very nice. I like it a lot. All right, I'm going to um, set it down and switch over to the HK data logger to get some speeds here. Very nice. This is the combo right here. This rudder and this wing.